<laughs> workshop. So first off, yeah, I would like you to know that I think you're a total idiot. Wow. Okay. As I'm sure you are aware, I represent a lot of successful actors and actresses, and I usually don't take anybody with no credits. But I remember seeing you in your little play last year, your little Thornton Wilder thing, and realizing you were an exceptional talent. Ah, thank you. An exceptional talent who's a complete moron. It amazes me that you somehow graduated college. You miss auditions. You don't get new headshots when I tell you to, and worst of all, when you book your first big TV role, you make a total horse's ass of yourself on set. Wait, what are you talking about? They loved me, I was a hit. Is it true that you told the first AD to only refer to you as your royal majesty? Yeah, but... And did you tell one of the leading actors that he should file for unemployment now because you heard that you were replacing him? Wait, wait, that was obviously a joke. He knew I was joking. That's your problem, Matthew. Everything's a joke. Sit down. You're the first actor I've ever known who can book a big role, shoot it, the producers call and say what an amazing job you did, and then in the next sentence, they say they would never work with you again. So here's the deal, pal. You pull that again, and I'm dropping you. Yeah? I got it. Good. Great. Great? Yeah, great. All right, we're dispensing with the bad news now. It's about time. Going on Jeez. to the good news. All right. Word is, once you pulled your head out of your ass, right? you did an amazing job. So they said something. The director says he sees you as the next Giovanni Ribisi. Giovanni? Now don't get cocky, right. but I believe once these two episodes air, the sky is the limit. Awesome. Just avoid all of your normal instincts to be a total idiot. Okay. Okay? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Don't get cocky. Okay. Get out of here. It won't happen again. Hey, man, where are you up to? Can't take it anymore, man. Yo, this, 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 this promo is driving me crazy, man. Dude, I can't even go to the grocery store without being accosted by people asking me to do the dance. I'm not a piece of meat. Hi, right, so, so, I'm gonna go to my commercial agent and I'm gonna thank her for ruining my career and then I'm gonna fire her. Wait, what? Man, you're crazy. That promo has 17 million hits on YouTube. You just got interviewed by two morning shows, you got asked to be a dancer on Momboing with the Stars, and now you're a regular in celebrity tabloids. And you say that your life is ruined. Do you want to trade lives? I'll trade with you right now. And you can go work at the slop house with a bunch of 18 year olds. What are you talking about, bro? You just booked a national commercial, man. Sparkle white gum? Now that's hip, okay? Wait until that commercial takes off. You're going to be the face of that new product. Beave it up, beave it up, beave it. There you go. Wow, that, that'd really be something. No, no, I'm serious, man. Trust me, all right? You just haven't gotten your first check yet. Once those checks start coming in, you'll be singing a whole different tune, all right? And as for me, you know, my lifelong dream of being the next Denzel Washington, poof, gone, it's over. My lifelong dream of not being a gigantic beaver on national television is gone too. But you don't see me firing my agent because of it. Look, don't try to talk me out of it, man. All right, I, I didn't become an actor to do network promos, man. And you and I, uh, we're not getting any younger, okay? When, when I look back on my life, I'm gonna look back and look at this day and think of this day and be like, you know what? This, this was the day. This was the day that I took over my career. You okay? I took it over. All right, man. <clears throat> I'll see you. Hello? Oh, what's up, Caitlin? Yeah, sure, I'd love to go out to dinner with you. Nah. Anywhere but the slop house. I know you love the bucket of slop. Everyone loves the bucket of slop. I just can't do it. Thank you. Yeah, Mexican food sounds great. What time do you want to meet? Eight o'clock. All right, I'll be there. Sarah, we're ready for you.
<laughs> Mr. TV and internet sensation himself. Yeah, how's it going? I have to be honest with you. I have a guilty pleasure. I watch your YouTube promos at least three times a day. I can't get enough. That's, that's great. Rare! <laughs> I'm obviously not the only one. 17 million views. Any actor would kill for this publicity. See, that's just the thing. I, I don't want Do this you know kind of how many calls I get every day from fans looking for your autograph? They want to meet you. Oh, we need to hire you a publicist. Can, can I speak for Please one goddamn mom. second? The most exciting part. It seems like you have fans in big places in this town. They're very important people. And I got a call earlier today. You have a meeting tomorrow morning with the head executive of one of the biggest networks. They were really hush-hush about what they're interested in you for, but I think it's really something big. Wow. And, you know, all this because of an internet network promo. <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway, I was so excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just kept cutting you off. So what do you want to talk to me about? Uh, I, li I like your jeans. Gives you a nice little apple bottom. I'm so hungry. I purposely didn't eat since we talked so I knew we were going out. I mean, not going out, like dating. Like going out to eat at a restaurant. <laughs> Never mind. So I think I'm gonna get the chicken quesadillas. Yeah, that sounds good. Actually, I want something with beans. Taco salad might be good. Fajitas! No, I want something crunchy like nachos, but something with vegetables. Tamales. Corn tamales are in season right now, you know? But, uh, I think I want a burrito or something. No. So, uh, which one are you gonna get? Um, all of them, I guess. I'm really hungry. So, congratulations on your big commercial. I mean, I'm so excited to see it. I'm sure you're absolutely amazing at it. Thank you so much. And congratulations as well. I mean, signing with that manager is a big deal. I'm really proud of you. Well, thanks, Jeff. It means a lot coming from you. Jeff, can I talk to you about something? Sure, what's up? Well, all right. First of all, okay, I don't know how to say this. I mean, yo, well, yo, yo! Oh, it is! Kaylee! What's up, baby? Simon. Oh. <laughs> hey, you Simon. know I'd be here. Mm-hmm. You stalking me? <laughs> Grandpa. What are you doing here, douchebag? Yeah, I heard you quit working at the slap house. That's great. Means more money and more tables for me. <laughs> uh. So what's up, pretty boy? Hmm? Are you moving out on my territory? You know I was Caitlin's first. Yeah. That means you get sloppy seconds. Oh, Simon, you were my first kiss, and that was like three years ago. Wait a minute. Simon was your first kiss? How is that even possible? That would have been when you were like 19 and Simon was 15. Mm -hmm. Caitlin chaperoned my high school dance. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, we're behind the bleachers. Oh, don't act surprised, Grandpa. You know how I work my magic at the slap house. Let me get this straight. So you were in college, and Simon was getting his learner's permit? Yeah, and I didn't have a car. So guess who drove me home that night? I couldn't just leave you there. All your friends left. Wow, Simon. I didn't even know you had friends. <laughs> Simon, could you just leave us alone? Jeff and I are having a celebratory dinner, just the two of us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> for sure, for sure. I could take it in. So what are we ordering? Next time on Workshop. They said you need acting classes. Excuse me? You can't move back to London. Yeah, I'm seriously considering it. Adam, we'd like to talk to you about what your next career move might be. Sure. 